Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just want to share with you this amazing clip from UN Security Council meeting. The EU and US are talking about how concerned they are about Eritrea and their human rights abuses, but then something amazing happened and the rest of the world called bullshit. Let me show you the clip before I say anything else. The United States continues to condemn the Eritrean government's treatment of its citizens. The EU nevertheless remains highly concerned about the human rights situation in Eritrea. Some Western countries continue to utilize human rights to advance their visceral hostility against Eritrea and fulfill their geopolitical goals and interests. Eritrea provides specific examples of its active cooperation with the Council and its mechanisms. Unfortunately, we are also subject to continuous reports that are unjustified. This is politicization. It does not serve human rights. Uh, it uses uh, human rights mechanisms for political reasons. The politicization selectivity and double standards in dealing with human rights only create obstacles that cannot be surmounted. South Sudan thanks and appreciates the government of Eritrea for the improvement of the human rights situation in the country and commends the government of Eritrea for a great momentous role in combating human rights violations. We also would like to ask the special rapporteur about the effect of USMs on the life of Eritrean people. Considering the long-lasting effects of sanctions on development of society, we believe that this issue has to be considered in his report. We continue to believe that the unilateral imposition by the United States of restrictions against a number of Eritrean and Ethiopian public officials as counterproductive. Coercive unilateral measures imposed by relevant countries in Eritrea undermines human rights in the country and should be immediately lifted. That was an absolutely amazing clip. The whole world stood up and they called bullshit. They said, what is this selective bias against Eritrea and against the government and the people of Eritrea? The Western nations have been punishing Eritrea for decades now. Eritrea is under a very draconian sanctions. They pretty much cannot do anything. And despite all of that, their economy is grown. Despite all of that, they have peace. Despite all of that, they've managed to develop more and better than the comparative nations that are around them. And I have to say that I absolutely love the question the Iraqi representative asked. Unfortunately, I do not know her name, but what she said is absolutely true. Why don't the UN Security Council, UN, or all of these nonsense organizations, why don't they ever check the consequences the Western actions have on the rest of the world? Why don't they check what kind of effect these draconian sanctions that have been imposed for decades now, how is that hurting the Eritrean people? Why don't the UN Security Council worry about that? Why don't the UN ever check what kind of effect the U.S. sanctions has on the rest of the world? One third of the world population is under U.S. and Western sanctions. One third. And they never check what kind of effect that has. How many people have the West killed with their sanctions? How many people are dying every year due to sanctions? They never check things like that. And I like the fact that she called out. And I like the fact that the international community is clear. International community is saying, let Eritrea develop, lift the sanctions and stop this nonsense. And when I say international community, I mean the real international community. I'm not talking about this fake international community of three countries that amounts to about 1.5% of the world population. I mean, the real international community has come together. And in future, we're going to see more of things like this. We are becoming more and more united and we are voicing our concerns. As you can see, countries from Asia, from Latin America, from Africa, from everywhere, were supporting Eritrea. What is there left to say? The only people who were against them was the Western countries, and that doesn't shock any of you, I'm sure. But I love this clip, and I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please jump the subscribe, like, share, and do comment.